Hi, and thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features that are available inside Google Meet for meeting with students, teachers, or just for the purposes of distance learning. Now, one of the best features that I've found recently is the ability to, when my background is cluttered, like you can see on my shelves behind me, the ability to add a background blur. And if you want to add a background blur, you just go to the bottom right of your screen, click on the More menu, your three dots at the bottom right, and click on Turn On Background Blur. And so that blurs out a cluttered background, or in the case of some situations where you might be proctoring a test with your students, the ability to blur out things that might give away answers while they're taking an online test. Another feature that's gonna be a huge game changer for a lot of us is the ability to add a whiteboard. Now, rather than create a new whiteboard feature for Google Meet, Google has integrated Jamboard, so you will need to make sure that your administrator has turned on Jamboard for your district. So if I wanted to add a Jamboard to a meeting that I'm having with a colleague or in the case of a math teacher to a group of students, all I have to do is go to the bottom right and click on the More menu again. And here you're going to see at the top, Whiteboard, where it says Open a Jam. When I click this, it's going to add a new whiteboard or I can open up an existing Jamboard from my drive and it's going to add it into the chat menu. Now before adding this into the meeting I can choose to have it set up so that the recipients on the other end can edit the Jamboard or just view it. And in this case if I'm teaching a lesson and I want it to be interactive so that the students can engage in the lesson I'll choose edit. When I click send it's going to put the Jamboard link in the chat menu over here and you'll notice that it automatically popped up on my screen right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this Jamboard on my iPad where I'm currently conferencing and I'm going to open up the messages, click on the Jamboard link and now I can see that Jamboard. So with my pen I can put a problem on the screen with a blank where a student can answer and then the student on the other end can enter their answer on the screen from their end. So being totally interactive and with the ability of both parties to edit, we can have an interactive math lesson. Likewise, if I need to underline something or put in a shape, I can add shapes to the lesson. Uh, I can add images. And with the laser pointer at the bottom, I can choose to click and drag underneath something to highlight it. And that laser will only stay there for just a split second but it gives enough time for the student to see what I'm highlighting on the screen and draw their attention to it. So you also have the ability to add multiple frames into the lesson so students can follow along and go through frame after frame and keep up with the lesson as you're teaching it. Well hopefully you like this new addition. Um, if you have more questions about how to use it, refer to my blog at www.techiecoach.com and look for a new video coming up in the future where we'll talk about how to use breakout sessions in Google Meet, which is a new feature that's rolling out this week. But in the meantime, if you have questions, join me on my blog or follow me on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.